fountain pens might appear simple, but honestly, the engineering that's required to keep them flowing just right requires remarkable precision, and it's honestly kind of crazy they work at all. Yet, for some pens, that's still not enough of a challenge. The pens on this list have some features, some abilities, some superpowers that set them apart from the rest. Some are helpful, some are gimmicky, some are wholly unnecessary. Get excited. I'm going to start with one of my favorites, the Kaweco Supra, which, now that I think about it, makes this more of a uh, Supra power. Anyway, this pen can transform. Initially, you are presented with this, a metal full-size fountain pen with a number six steel nib. Solid. Oh, but I actually want this to fit better in my pocket or handbag today. Well, using its Supra power, you can remove this little centerpiece and the Supra transitions into a compact mode that becomes delightfully diminutive and is now a pocket pen, which as you might know, is very much Kaweco's natural habitat. Once posted, even this mini version of the Supra is full-sized, making this a remarkably versatile fountain pen. The Diplomat Nexus is a fountain pen that fills via eyedropper. You unscrew the grip section and you fill the whole barrel with ink. It's a Japanese style eyedropper pen, which means that there's a rod with a gasket on the inside of the barrel that seals off the flow of ink. With such a massive ink capacity, these sorts of pens can benefit from sealing off all that ink when it's not in use. This is usually done by attaching that rod to a threaded knob in the back that you can operate to open and close the flow of ink. What the Nexus does, however, is just that. However, it does it for you. Rather than you having to shut off the flow manually, the Nexus has a special grip section that compresses into the rod when it's capped. So whenever you're not using your pen, the ink flow is shut off. When you're using it, hence having it uncapped, things are flowing. Okay, y'all get ready, because here comes the Traveler's Company Brass Pen. This little thing is resilient, consistent, and generally awesome. Now, as far as superpowers go, even mighty super teams like the X-Men have heroes with really cool powers, and some that are modest. Still, even modest superpowers are still powers, and the Traveler's Brass Pen possesses something that no other pen that we currently sell has. A loop. Yes, you can wear it as a pendant, hang it from your bag, use it as a grappling hook, a meteor hammer, anything. The possibilities are endless. And if this power happens to be too powerful for you to handle, it's removable. Although you kind of have to put it back on there, but I guess you can take it off if you want to. Bringing us a slightly more applicable superpower is the Pilot Justice 95. As popular as Pilot pens are, this one gets overlooked a little bit, which always has been surprising to me, considering it has a very unique ability. Looking at the nib, you'll immediately notice something different. This bar that extends from the grip over the nib itself. You'll also see that there are some markings here on the grip. The H and S stand for hard and soft. The idea behind this is that while fully extended, that bar restricts upward movement of the nib, making it harder on the page. Dial it over to the soft side, that bar retracts, then freeing up the tines to flex more with upward movement, giving you a softer riding experience. The difference is subtle, but noticeable, and definitely unique. The Peniter Avatar UR reveals its superpower in its name. UR stands for Ultra Resin. And Ultra Resin is intended to be virtually indestructible, by fountain pen standards, anyway. This was a claim made by the pen's architect, Dante Del Vecchio. And of course, our very own Brian Goulet simply had to validate these claims. Dante was confident, and before we knew it, Brian was hitting it with a hammer, trying to smash it with his water bottle, uh, and running over it with his SUV in the parking lot. Apart from some predictable scratches, though, the pen remained fully functional and free of cracks. Every good super team needs a hero with invulnerability. The Delta 39 plus one fountain pen features an interesting ability in the form of a two gram weight located in the rear of the barrel that can be installed or removed to suit the owner's preference. Even without this, it's a stunning pen that celebrates Delta's 2022 rebirth in a beautiful brown antique celluloid. And like Aquaman, this isn't going to be a superpower that's uh, gonna be always helpful, but 
Every now and then, it can absolutely save the day. Maybe. Probably. For someone. Yeah. The Monteverde Regatta features a magnet in the cap that firmly affixes it to the cap or to post. The amazing thing about this is that the power of a rare magnet made from the metal directly harvested from a meteor that is currently embedded near our planet's core ensures a gyroscopic attraction to its other half, no matter how far. That's a lie. But it's funny. Seriously though, the Banu Briolet collection is full of fun pens. I mean, it's Banu. But specifically, if you see the word luminous in front of the color, in this case, luminous amber, that means that your future Briolet is going to glow in the dark. Sure, it's not a super practical superpower until it saves your life by signaling rescue workers before your three hour tour shipwrecks on an uncharted desert isle. Ha! Subtlety isn't exactly in the Bennu company handbook, so this superpower is perfect for them. They've also made glow-in-the-dark pens outside of the Briolette model, like the Hanukkah Oil Talisman and the Christmas Twinkle Euphoria. Twisby and Retro 51 have also made glowing pens, but Bennu definitely jumps in here with both feet, which is what they do with all of their design elements, and we're here for it. Perhaps the most practical of all the superpowers on my list here is the one possessed by the Conklin 125th anniversary Nozak. Now I'm sure many of you have filled an internal piston fountain pen before. You know, three twists to fill, three or four twists to eject. This particular Nozak has the ability to fully raise or lower its piston in one turn. They call it appropriately the fast filler. No gimmicks here, it works. And I really wanna see it more. Not for filling per se, but for cleaning. There are some great great fountain pens out there that have internal pistons that you simply have to clean by filling over and over with water and ejecting it. I mean, over and over and over and over. But the beauty of this pen is that it cuts all that effort down immensely. More impressively, the standard fountain pen piston assembly is quite similar across many different pen brands that make internal pistons. So the fact that Conklin got this engineered is super impressive and it's actually a legit helpful innovation. It's the first time I've seen such a thing anyway. Fountain pens have been along for a while, so maybe I missed it, but to me, this is a unique thing. The fast filler is definitely a superpower. And for now, it's only available on this super pricey Conklin, but I really, really hope to see it again on some other pens. Well, folks, we have assembled our super team. Together, they can solve any number of oddly specific challenges. Overall though, seriously, my takeaway is that I am extraordinarily grateful to be a part of a seemingly antiquated hobby where companies still try new things and use their passion to have fun with clever and creative concepts. And I'm equally grateful for you choosing to spend some time with me today. Uh, links to the pens I mentioned can be found in the description below. Have fun, right on. <laughs>